give a damn. That's the whole reason why we're standing here. Okay, well, give me six hundred dollar vouchers so I can find a flight that can get us out of here. Two hundred dollar vouchers. And two hundred for the third person. Then let's get our vouchers so I can get another plane. And they were more than two hundred dollar tickets, so I want my money back for what I paid for those tickets. Okay, when do you want to go out? What's available that I have tomorrow? Three of your clients. I'm not flying Southwest. I will go get on another plane, but I want money to go get on another plane. Okay, they will not accept our vouchers. Just to let you know. So you're telling me that I'm screwed. So we're both going to lose our jobs because of what y'all did today. I, mean, I, I need a corporate number. I want I want the general manager of work Seriously, right down here right now. Because I told them we were going to miss our flight. I told them we were going to miss our flight and wanted to do something about it then. And they told me to have a seat and we'll let you know when you're going to miss the flight. They so tell us after we, we missed miss the, the flight. flight that we missed the flight. No shit we missed the flight. I could have told you that. Right. But the thing is, probably the sooner you could have got out would not have been within the 50 minutes. It would have been tomorrow still. We sat on that plane for an hour. What are you talking about? So you said 50 minutes prior. So you wouldn't have gotten anywhere 50 minutes sooner. Not to Jackson. Chris, Chris. Okay, so what do we do? Okay, the first available that I have okay, tomorrow. Okay, let's stop talking about tomorrow. There's three of us in right. an airport. Right. What do we do? You talk about tomorrow. And that's what I'm going to continue talking about. And the longer that we continue talking, the longer that the numbers keep going down. Okay, and so am I sleeping day. right here on this chair until tomorrow? That's nope. what I'm talking about. We're well, standing in an south. airport and you're talking about flights out tomorrow. What the hell are we going to do? And now I'm like... Oh, I lost my job, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, just walk away. I'll figure this out. We'll the first flight you can get. This is absolutely the first available for all three of you to travel together is at 1 o'clock tomorrow and at 5.15. 1 o'clock? No! That's the first available for three people to fly together. What's the first available for two? The first available really? for two. You two will have to go. Really? It would be at 10.30. Oh, how are you? 10.30 or 1 o'clock? We don't have a choice right now, and I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't want to know. Okay. Book the plane. Give me all your corporate numbers, too, because you're going to be hearing from the lawyer. This is fucking bullshit. Good thing I got the corporate lawyer. This all starts why, because the pilot doesn't know how to steer a plane. Yep. This pilot probably is drunk, wasn't paying attention. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I have no idea what you're supposed to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in the gate for flight 1983, going to St. Louis on the Houston danger, red belly bluebird coming up to the gate right now. As soon as we get it in here, get it parked, get all those packers off, we're going to get this thing on out of here. Good thing is, 